Hello, Reignite family around the world. I want to ask you a question and then I'm going to explain why. Um, I, there's an email in the description of this video. Um, and I would like to know if anyone around the world, no matter what country it is, has gotten a COVID fine, so a fine for not wearing a mask or for being too far away from your house, or I can't believe I'm saying those words, but you know what I'm talking about, a COVID restriction fine of any sort. Um, have you said no at every step of the way and opted to continue through the legal system? And have they actually allowed you to have your day in court? The reason I'm asking that question is because every single story, including my personal story of someone who has said no every step of the way, never actually gets that day in court to actually defend that. Well, I wouldn't say defend, but to explain why they aren't paying the fine and why they're not guilty. So just today, I got a text message from a friend who, whose defense was, I don't care about the COVID restrictions. That was his defense. He went through um, about two or three different days in the magistrate's court, just prolonging, prolonging. They just delay, delay. Then he opted to go to the county court, which is a step up from the magistrate court. It's kind of a criminal court. Um, and then they withdrew the fine. In my own personal experience, I have also taken two fines all the way and said, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. The same thing. They withdrew the fines the day of the court hearing. I have two more fines that are due to be heard in May. Um, and I, I hate to assume things here, but probably those fines will be withdrawn as well. I kind of hope they won't be withdrawn because I would like to air um, these types of things. But if they are withdrawn, obviously it's going to save me a lot of time um, and potentially money. Um, did you know that I have two COVID fines and they have booked out the court for three days? The cost of those three days in court for the judge, the administration, the lawyers, the, the day that the whole the room being rented out for, or used for those three days is probably going to be five times the cost of my fines. So it is really ridiculous and I feel bad the taxpayers have to pay for this sort of thing. But I want to know, has anyone gone all the way and actually had their day in court for a fine and what happened? I don't think that anyone has gone all the way and been found guilty or not guilty by an actual judge who is it isn't an administrative day in court it isn't a um you know what are we doing next day in court but has anyone gotten all the way to the end and been able to talk about it all the way through and what happened in australia so far i do not know of any stories like that they've all been withdrawn and so that's my question and that's why i'm asking now, my opinion is that no government around the world and no police force around the world wants to explain to a legitimate courtroom and a legitimate judge why they're fining someone for leaving the house without a cloth over their mouth or why someone exercised for more than five uh, for, for more than an hour or why has someone left their house for more than five kilometers in Victoria Australia police were even checking people's coffee cups to make sure there was coffee in there to explain why they weren't wearing masks so anyway I really would like to know if anyone's gone all the way and what happened but it is my opinion that no one can justify it in a court of law and I want to see I want to ask you the global network if that's true let me know and uh, I will let you know what happens in May. See you guys later.